This little tip to show you how to use pivots in Modo for modeling operations. Now normally pivots are actually a, an animation tool, but here we're going to use them um, basically to create a sort of custom action center. So the first thing you need to do is hit the O key on the keyboard, and where it says show pivots, click on selected. And now you can see in the center of the mesh item, the pivots highlighted. Um, so if you find the item button on the toolbar, click and hold, and then you can go to pivot. And now you can select that pivot and move it around. So move it up anywhere you want. Um, another thing you can do, if I just drop the tool, is snap it to some geometry. So I'm going to turn snapping on, polygon, and uh, just double check where it says geometry snap here in the corner. I'm going to go polygon, select the pivot again. It should snap to the poly up here. And uh, I'm just going to go to polygon center, snap it to the center, and drop the tool. Now if I go back into my component mode, um, and activate the rotate tool. I can go to action center, pivot, and now I can perform all my modeling transforms from this pivot location. Um, and of course, I don't have to snap it to geometry, so if I turn snapping off, go back to the pivot, um, move it somewhere else, some other random location, go back into polygon mode, and now activate the rotate tool again. You can see I have now moved my transform takes place from. And uh, you can still use other action centers, so you could for instance decide to go on selection, rotate from here, but you'll always have access to that uh, custom pivot just by going back to action center pivot. Now if you decide you want to bring the pivot back to the uh, item center, that's also pretty straightforward. What you need to do is go to the setup tab and uh, again select the pivot and then where it says um, position, click on position, zero, 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 and you can see the pivot snap back now to the item center. And of course, if you wanted to um, bring the item center back into the center of the mesh, you just go to edit, center to bounding box, oops, sorry, I need to be in item mode, edit, center to bounding box, center, and the pivot will also go with it. Finally, in response to a question that was asked in the forums, uh, someone wanted to know if it was possible to know what the uh, rotation of your pivot was. So uh, the answer is yes. If you select your pivot and give it some kind of arbitrary rotation, um, and then just select your mesh in the item list and go to the channels view and go down to where it says it's not pivot rotation compensation, but pivot rotation just below it. And you can see there's an entry there, which at the moment is minus 32. You can even double click and enter a numeric value here. So let's just reset it back to zero. And you can see that here, the pivot's been reset back to its original position. Um, if you wanted to get fancy, I'm sure you could even rig up some kind of display or control. But um, for the time being, uh, this is a pretty simple way of finding out what the rotation is.